feel really good now. Why? Oh, besides the fact that I have a nice drink, I just feel really good. Yeah, me and Murph, we couldn't find the real thing. Well, I think they were smoking some kind of cigarettes or something in that movie. And we asked around everywhere and said, where do we get pineapple cigarettes? And people looked at us like this. So then we... we, well, we I don't think they were necessarily cigarettes. No, they were cigarettes. And we took this beer from my dad. Well, there's a difference between a cigarette and a joint. Cigarettes have nicotine. That This stuff was, like, totally different. Joints are buzz of flowers, Murph. That was a cigarette. Joints are illegal, Murph. They were not doing illegal things. Now, the movie's called Pineapple Express. And it stars James Franco, who's going to be a straight-laced, be a serious man, man. And this movie's like this. Yeah, dude. It's crazy, yeah, dude. Yeah, I know, I know what you're saying, yeah, dude. I know what you're saying. What do you want me to do? I, I buzz you in, dude. Let's get out of here, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, Murph? Yeah. Can you impersonate him? Yeah, um, this yeah, shit will get you so high, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You and I just gotta hang out. We're bros, man. Then there's that, Something there's like that. that scene where he's like this. That fat one. Something like that, Murph. The movie's about um, Seth Rogen, who's one of those guys who comes to people and says, You've got served. And then one day he goes to buy cigarettes from, from Mr. Franco. Marijuana? What? He goes to buy marijuana. He goes to buy cigarettes, Murph. Cigarettes is nicotine. Cigarettes are legal. He went to buy illegal drugs. He did? Yeah. I'm, I'm against the movie then, Murph. Well, it's a, it's probably fake though. I'm against it, Murph. How can you be? It was a I'm good. Offend, I'm offended now. You came home like you all liked it. I knew nothing about that, Murph. I, and I could cry. I'm always against offensive things, Murph. Well, if it's not offensive, it's just illegal. It's, a, it's illegal, Murph. I could go to jail for watching the movie, Murph. If it's illegal, that means the movie's illegal. Kids got into that movie. I, I they should have been. I should but... never have watched that, Murph. Am I gonna be all right? You should be. I I'm mean, not going to jail for seeing it, right? Of course not. I mean, you know... Police if, officers, if you see me, I'm sorry I saw that movie. I didn't realize it was illegal. I thought it was cigarettes. I mean, there was a movie was talking about cigarettes. You know, it's, it's, you know, if we saw it, it's fine. You know, if we gave them real... If we actually got real drugs from them, that'd be illegal. You're getting me really afraid, Murph. I should never have seen that movie. I should never have watched it. I should have known better. Do you want to say what it's about? Yeah, it's mainly, well, you know, the, the, the guy witnesses a murder, and Seth Rogen, and, well, apparently the cops are part of the murder, so they can't go to the police, well, certain police, and then they try to get away, and it's them trying to get away and saving their pot, and, you know, as it goes on, there's also the Chinese, I think, are after... Murph, well, you're not doing it right. That's what it was about! They go to scenes when they go to the woods and hide out from the bad guys, who's Gary Coleman. You know, the guy who played, um, the dad in the Brave Much movies. You and, know, and you know, the boss. Bill, Lum Bill Lumberg from Office Space? That's yeah. Gary Cole! Right, really. Yeah. Mm hmm. I believe you have a stapler. Remember that, Murph? That, that was... I, be, I believe you have a stapler, Bruce. That was a different guy. No, he said that. He's like, I believe you have a stapler. Wow. That wasn't Gary Cole. That... Gary Coleman, I believe you have a stapler. That I was... I down the building. That was a guy from the 70s show, wasn't it? Oh, wait, no. He was he was in some sitcom. What are we talking about here, Murph? Oh, yeah, anyway, the, in the movie... There's it... also the guy who looks like your Uncle Jimmy. Yeah. You know, your uncle. Yeah, I know, but... But the you guy... said he didn't, and I think he does. Because it, it, it is, we look, not that much. In a way, Murph. I think so. What? Well, you think Star Wars is for geeks. I mean... It, it, it is, Murph. Well, God kind of... damn it, it is. Yep, see what Christ. I mean? You don't know anything about anything. Murph, everything I say is always right. I've never been wrong. Everything is correct. All right, I'd like all of you watching this to post underneath this and tell us which one of us is right about certain things. Well, if everyone likes me better, I'm always the one that's right. You're always the one that everyone's like, 
He's so goofy. He looks like Garth and Kelly. I'm really getting sick of hearing that. You get sick of it. That's why I do it. What is wrong with you? Why do you constantly insist on torturing me? I do it because I like it, Murph. I get off on it. Because you have such a miserable life, you gotta make me miserable? Me and Murph, that's why I do it. Well, it's not that bad. I guess I get cable. Once I get rid of this wig, that's gonna change. You're not getting rid of that ever, Murph. I'm making you wear it. Oh, no. I'm, 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 I'm ditching this wig. I'm gluing it to your head. I don't think so. I'm gonna glue it to your head with super glue, and it's not gonna come off like the wig in Peanut Butter Solution did. It's staying there, and people aren't gonna laugh at you when your hair comes off and they see you're bald. Oh, I'm not getting bald. I got a thick head of hair under this wig. Mm-hmm. Well, the movie's about, like we said, they, they have those cigarettes, and they're on the run from the cops, and they're on the run from the cops. Um, lots of bad things happen to them. No wonder people who hate us say we don't really talk about the movie much. You always say everything wrong about it. Well, it was funny, though. Well, yeah, it was funny. I like Step Brothers a bit more for humor. There were a lot of funny scenes. There were funny scenes in this one, but not as many. I really did like, you know, Ed Bigley's Jr., the guy who lives in a slow powered house. You know, I liked his scenes. You know, Ed Bigley Jr. in real life has everything solar power? Everything. But how does stuff work at five at night? He even poops in a solar power way. But how does, how does he function at night? By his feces. You know, the poop. In his toilet, gets burned up, turned into fossil fuels, and powers his house. So he can watch David Letterman. I prefer Leno. Well, he likes David Letterman, Murph. So, eat Duke. So would you recommend people see this movie that's illegal? Well, the movie itself isn't illegal. It's illegal, Murph. No. I'm going to have to talk to the, p the police at school. About the movie? I'm going to tell them that I saw it. They won't care. I'm afraid, Murph. I'm not. I'm very scared about this. I recommend thing. it. It was a very funny comedy. I did not know it was about illegal things. Yeah, it was about illegal marijuana, but it was probably fake, though. Do you think that this is illegal, too? No, alcohol's not illegal unless you're under age. What is under age, Murph? Uh, I think you have to be 21 in this state, in this country. Oh, no. I did too many bad things. I'm going to jail, Murph. I'm going. I'm going. I'm just going to jail. Well, you know, you know, you're not 18. I'm going to jail. So you're not going to, you're just going to go to juvie. You're not going to go to jail. I know a bunch of friends. I'm going to jail. Do. I'll do it. All right. The movie was really funny, and it was had some good action scenes. I'd recommend it. It wasn't perfect, but it was good. I'd give it four out of, four and a half out of five stars. Uh, you'll like it. Catch you next time. Mike, leave the beard. Leave the beard. I don't want to go to jail. Leave it. Don't drink any more water. I don't want to go to jail. Murph, will you write to me in jail? Yeah. Okay, good. I'll uh, just be a bit.